Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video we are going to be unboxing the Briar Halloween Classic for this year, whose name is Goblin. Well, in the past couple of years now, Briar has been doing a Halloween cl Classic kind of web special because you can only get it on their website. And they've been doing that for a couple years now, I think that's pretty cool. I'm looking, I've been looking forward to these little Halloween Classic horses. So, I got this kind of big box, but then... Our little goblin guy here is actually in this little briar box. So we will open that right up. Last year's Halloween classic was Crane, who matched the bigger traditional Halloween horse Ichabod. And then the one before that was Jack and Casper. And then I believe the one before that was Mischief Knight, if I'm rem remembering correctly here. Um, yeah, I think they've only done those ones so far, and then now we have Goblin. And I do have videos on those other horses I'll put links to. Anyway, here we go, a little Goblin guy. Now, he isn't necessarily my favorite, I think, of these Halloween classics, just based on what I've seen. But I think he is super duper cute, and I do like that he is something a little different. They have been kind of doing some really interesting designs, I think, with Halloween horses. And I also will be getting the Halloween horse for this year, which is the one on the ethereal mold, whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. But I am planning on getting him, and I cannot wait to get him. Alright, we got lots of bubble wrap here. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. Here we go. Oh my goodness, he is very shiny and pearly. Let's get this bag off of him. Wow, his like coloring is really pretty already. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Wow! It doesn't really show up, I don't think, on the camera. But his white body has this like almost metallic purple on it. It's kind of hard to uh, explain, but the light when it hits him, if you can kind of see that, it's like kind of purplish or pink. It's not like white, like when the highlights on him when the light hits him, is purpley pink. That's amazing. Wow, and his legs are super shiny and metallic-y. Look at those beautiful, beautiful colored legs. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm loving him a lot more already. Wow, his color is like so pretty. Let's get this, these other little uh, bubble wrap things off him. There he is. Wow, and this is the classic mold. I believe it's called Harper, was the first one that came out on this mold. It came out one or two years ago. Really cute mold. I, I really like it, and I don't have any on this uh, mold yet, I don't believe. Oh my goodness, he is so cool looking. Like, his color is just... He's not just a plain white and purple horse. His body... It looks, wow, the more I look at it, actually, it kind of looks green. It's kind of not looking so much green on the camera. But his body is kind of, try to turn the light down so you can see it better or not, but his, his body is kind of greenish. It's not actually like a really white. It's kind of green looking already, and then it has that weird purple, purple shine to it. This is like so weird looking. I'm really, really liking it, and this coloring is just gorgeous on his mane and tail and his legs. It's faded really nicely. Super, super pretty colors, like just a gorgeous shade of purple. And it's got that beautiful kind of shiny metallic look to it that is just really cool. So, there, wow, he's so cool. Look at his little hang tag, it says Briar Goblin on both sides and it also just has this little item number and we'll go ahead and take that off right now so we can review the rest of him here so let's take a look at his face so his eyes are really interesting because uh, Briar hasn't really done these kind of eyes before they're really really peculiar looking they kind of look like a goblin's eyes they're really neat so it looks like they're kind of painted actually like a normal Briar eye but then they have this kind of weird, almost snake-like, white kind of pupil put in there. I don't know if you can see that, 
But it's kind of funny because they can see like an eye white and then like a regular briar eye almost underneath. But then it's got that kind of weird little white uh, pupil thing going on. I think that's really cool. Definitely a neat little addition. You can see his ears are shaded purple. He also has a purple forelock. Oh, his coloring is just so weird. I can't get over it. Super, super weird. He does have to seem like I have a little little boo-boo on his nose for some reason. But that's okay. It's not too bad. He's got a cute little purple muzzle. Beautiful purple mane. Beautiful, beautiful coloring. I'm going to try and adjust the settings on my camera in a minute here and try to get a better look at that coloring for you guys because it is really neat. So let's look at all these little little monsters on him. Now when I first saw him, I wasn't super like excited about these monsters because I was like, oh, they're kind of weird. They just, they're kind of like, I don't know, they seem too happy to me. <laughs> I don't know. But looking at this guy in person, I really, really like him. I think he is fantastic. I'm so glad Briar did this guy. He is amazing. But look at, let's look at these silly little monsters on here. It's kind of like a bat acorn looking monster there. Here's one with one eye and antennas and tentacles and sharp teeth. This one's got horns and like a little squiggly arm or something and funny little feet. And then this one's got three eyes and then like crab legs. I think what I kind of do like about these monsters is that they remind me of Monsters, Inc. They just kind of look like that to me. Like, look like there would be monsters in Monsters, Inc. So I think that's kind of cool too. The other side, it does have different monsters on the other side, which I think is really cool. I'm glad they didn't just like reuse the same monster decals. They actually did some different ones here. So we have like a kind of squid looking monster kind of thing there, or like octopus monster thing. This one's probably my favorite of them all. I think it's really funny because it reminds me of like a dolphin or a narwhal or something. It's got like a little horn thing. It's got little fins and a funny tail. I think that one's really cute. I like that one a lot. This one's like a funny like blob monster. It's got one eye. It's got a C on it. I'm not really sure why it has a C on it, but that's pretty cool. And then this guy is pretty cool too. It's got like a dolphin or a shark's tail. It's got a little fin there. It's got like these little fuzzy fuzzies or like spikes coming out of it. It's got some horns up there and three eyes. Really cool, really fun and creative looking little monsters. So that is really neat. And they're also really nicely masked off. They look like they're, like, how they're done, they almost look like they're hand-painted on. They are, I'm pretty sure, masked off. But, like, just kind of how the quality of the paint looks, it almost looks like it, they were uh, hand-painted on for some reason. They just look really nice. I'm really impressed. Maybe they were hand-painted on. I mean, there's, like, no overspray at all. I don't know, it's kind of weird. They look, they look really nicely done, though. I'm really impressed. And then, and also on his belly, it says Halloween 2017. That's really cool. I guess it's actually a, actually a mare. I didn't realize this mold was a mare. But, really pretty. His coloring is gorgeous. Oh, and has like white hooves. Little white hooves that match the body. Super, super gorgeous. And I believe the body is supposed to glow in the dark, so he's probably made of that fun glow-in-the-dark plastic that Briar uses. So I'm gonna try real quickly here to try and attempt to get a better look at his uh, color here. Sorry if I just hit the camera there. So I'm going to try and do that for you guys as soon as I get to my settings here. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this color to pop up better. It's a little hard to... Can you guys see it at all yet? I really can't tell on my camera, but trust me, he is really cool looking. Oh, you can kind of see it maybe there. He's kind of greenish, but also is that really neat purpley sheen. It's super cool. I am really impressed by this guy. He looks a lot better than I even expected. So, there you guys have it. There is Goblin, the really cool Briar 2017 web special Halloween classic horse. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review on him. And you can uh, let me know in the comments what you think about him. If you if you have one or want to get one or 
if he's a pass for you or whatever it is that you think about this guy. I think he is really cool, but then again, I do collect all the Halloween horses, so I am a little biased on the Halloween horses. Anyway, guys, again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a super duper awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!